So, hi guys, this is Momo Aoki and welcome to my channel. And today we are going to the narrow walk. As you can see, I'm still walking there. And I'm just going around and going around the narrow walk and all these good sides. So, when I get there, I shall keep you updated. Adios, peace. So hi guys there, as you know we are at the Young Canadian Wolf right now I'm um, still so walking there to get to the Young Westbury Circus So we're gonna start with Westbury Circus And we're gonna continue and explore the entire of the Canary Wolf So I'll keep you updated, I'll see you there, Adios. So hi guys there, we are just below the um, West Ferris Circus, as we go up those stairs it is the West Ferris Circus and I just, just want to show you, and just below we have the um, Real China restaurant there and we are at the um, Thames Pathway and West Ferris Circus is just off the Thames Pathway right here on this spot with the, um, as you can see, Canary Wharf boat trips facilities there. So let's continue to see the rest of the Canary Wharf. See you there. So hi guys there, we're at the um, West Coast Circus now, our first encounter, and we're gonna go see the rest of the community walk. So, adios, see you there. So uh, basically guys, as you come up these stairs, this is what you see. Um, this is the uh, West Coast Circus um, at the um, center of it. There's a small greenery, a public space, and also a junction to actually exit the cars to the route that they want to actually take. And lots and lots of buildings here as well, lots and lots of um, office and retail spaces at Canary Wharf which is made out of 16 million square feet entirety of the uh, wharf and I shall show you some tall buildings hang on and so guys we're actually looking at the um, one of the uh, tallest buildings in UK on the left hand side there is the uh, new farm land right next to the West Ferry Circus and the other one is Landmark Pinnacle which is the, one of the uh, tallest buildings in UK so our um, prime tallest building in UK is short and then comes the um, One Canada Square which I will show you later on and the third one is Bishop Gate yeah Bishop Gate so those are very very tall buildings so we should go and see the rest of the Canary Wharf so we're at the um, outer circle of the uh, West Ferry Circus guys right next to the Thames Pathway and all you can see is the center and some um, skeleton trees and some decorations as you can see with your small pots and um, plants What we have here, guys, a few sculptures and nice line of trees, and the uh, actually the office office retail building there as well. The project began when London's banks needed a bigger offices, and it was thought that this huge empty plot close to the city was the perfect place to build majestic skyscrapers for the thousands of workers. Now. 
the former West India Dock was used for the project in 1987 when a Canadian company, Olympia and York, began building the project named Canary Wharf. Canary Wharf at present is defined by the Great London Authority as being part of the London Central Business District alongside Central London. With the City of London, it constitutes one of the main financial centers in the United Kingdom and the world, containing many high-rise buildings, including the third tallest in the UK, which is Canada One Canada Square, which is a pure office space, opened in 26 August 1991. Canary Wolf has many open areas, including Canada Square, Cabot Square and Westbury Circus. Together with Herring Quays and Wood Wolf, it forms the Canary Wolf State. History. From 1802 to the late 1980s, what would become the Canary Wharf Estate was a part of the Isles of Dogs, the Millwall, Limehouse and Poplar and was one of the busiest dogs in the world. West India Dog was primarily developed by Robert Milligan from 1746 to 1809, who set up the West India Dog Company for London Dogs Industry. The Port of London Authority was established in 1909 and took control of the West India Dock, the enterprise of Sir Alfred Lewis Jones, a Welsh shipping magnate who was a prominent figure in the Canary Islands, led to a constant stream of ships arriving into London's South Quay Dock and the naming of Canary Wharf after the ship's origin. It was named after number 32, birth of the Westwood Quay of the Import Dock. This was built in 1936 for the Fruit Lines Limited Company, a subsidiary of Fred Olsen's lines for the Mediterranean and Canary Islands fruit trade. It is located on the Isles of Dogs, the quay and the warehouse were given the name Canary Wharf. Basically guys, what we're looking at is the tallest building in Canary Wharf, which is the M1 um, Canada Square there, right next to the M um, Cabot Square. Marvellous. So guys, this is the entrance to um, Cabot Square as you can see. And so guys, this is... Um, Cabot Square, as you can see, a uh, gorgeous looking fountain there, splashing about with a powerful spray and uh, it's extra, extra unique looks. Uh, at the middle of the screen there is a shopping mall, guys. Uh, we're not going to go inside the shopping mall because um, it will defeat our purpose yeah, of yeah, doing yeah. the um, uh, entirety of the Canary Wharf. So sh we shall leave that to uh, another time. So. And this is Cabo Square. It's the first time I've gone. So we're looking at the uh, way from Cabo Square, guys. If this is we, uh, as we can see that um, young lady going, we go that way, we go to the um, south block basically. So we're looking at the uh, way from Cabot Square guys. If this is we, uh, as we can see that um, young lady going, we go that way, we go to the um, south block basically. <laughs> so guys, from this angle, as I'm panning to the left, we're going to walk down that way as the people are going next to the Pandium, the, um, the circular building there, and go to the uh, middle top. So, I'll see you there.
And so we are guys, so we're actually standing on high ground on looking at the uh, middle dock there. It's a small body of waters that joins the uh, south dock basically. So all of these uh, little waters used to be uh, belong to your London docks once for um, docking industry back in the days in 1800s. Now it is all marina and for leisure. Guys, we're at the um, right next to the new found land, tallest building, one of the tallest building in Canary Wharf and UK. So, as you can see, guys, this is a footbridge crossing over the uh, body of waters into the other um, places of the Canary Wharf. We've got a nice dome over it as well. We have on the left hand side guys, Henry Addington, eating experience there. And we have the train crossing, which is the Docklands Light, Light Railway. We're still at the uh, middle dock guys, which is a small body of waters and, and we have a lot more to see. We're going to need to actually travel to a Belmoth um, passageway going towards the uh, Black Basin and we're going to still have to go through the um, south dock, which is a much bigger body of waters and let alone seeing, seeing the um, Millwall dock, which is at the um, Isles of Docks next to the um, Canary Wharf. Okay, so we're not going to do the um, Millwall dock today, it will be another video. Guys, I got no idea what this place is. Last time I was in Canary Wharf, um, I haven't seen this spot here. Um, you've got lots and lots of um, dials being put there on the uh, metal bars there. I don't know what they're supposed to be. <laughs> I've done no research on it whatsoever. But it does make the place look um, fantastic, unique, great. So as you can see, actually, everyone actually coming from that building there, which is a one kind of square at the yeah, very, very, at the very, very low bottom there, and basically all these places are actually buying all the snacks, drinks and the snacks. And that's what it looks like at the moment to me. So let's have a look at these um, takeaway booths for drinks and snacks. Uh, this is the uh, center of um, activity guys where the uh, station is, Canary Wharf Station there and you've got a little uh, snack and drink takeaway um, facility on the left hand side guys and here where the, uh, all the uh, activity where the people are commuting here and there Canary Wharf Station So 
So guys, this is the um, Jubilee Park, yeah, the public space in Canary Wharf, and now we're going to go inside and have a look around. It's very small, supposed to be a greenery, but however, we shall look inside right now. These uh, fountains actually made from rocks. They make the uh, its um, surroundings look like rocks, which is, looks very, very exotic and stunning. And it's about, I think it's about a few of them going up the uh, footpath there, as you can see people are going there. Final and the last one guys, this is the fifth one, so they have like five of these pools and fountains from one end end of the park to the other end, which is fantastic. And this is the uh, Jubilee place guys, it's for um, eating and drinking basically. So let's have a look at this small place guys, I ain't got a clue where I am. I know I'm Canary, uh, I know I'm in Canary Wharf, but Exactly, I want to get to South Dock, but I don't think I'm going to find my way. I will find my way, but not at this moment here. But I just want to do this little clip from this extraordinary sculpture. So basically, guys, as I was actually making a video of the smaller extraordinary sculpture, the red colored one just now, um, yeah, the South Dock was right under my nose. <laughs> well, I had to just walk through these, uh, um, this small structure here. And there's a South Dock, as you can see. So, let's go. So, we're at the South Dock at the moment, guys. One of the body of waters, which is called South Dock. And we're looking at the um, landmark pinnacle building again. A little bit more different angle this time. So, let's go and explore South Dock without further ado. As you can see, guys, South Dock is made out of many, many, many surrounding with um, office and retail spaces. The water is kind of a greeny and it is the um, largest body of waters in Canary Wharf. Um, the Millwall Dock um, is much larger than this one as well, however this in Isles of Docks just cross over the um, Marshall Wall Road which I will actually most probably going to go to the Millwall Dock just to have a look at it from the beginning which actually divides uh, the Marshall, Road, Marshall Wall Road which divides the Isles of Docks Isles of Dogs and Canary Wharf, but I cannot promise you that. So, so you got a ship uh, boat, they're actually mooring there. So, I'm, I'm not clear what it is for. It looks like more like operations rather than for touristic attraction. Now, actually, we are viewing the opposite side of the South Dock, guys. Yeah. It is gorgeous here and today is 9 degrees Celsius, it's the 30th of January 2024. The rest of the guys, Canary Wharf became a public space at some point after 1997. So uh, 1987, when it was actually began the project and around after 1992 it became a public space however it's still a private ownership of the uh, place guys we are actually looking at the um, another one of the tallest building in canary wharf in uk it is called One Park Drive. As you can look at, it's a unique design there as we're panning upwards. It is the only, only, it is the only one on its kind in UK. Yeah, we are weaving the vicinity from South Dock, guys, all the um, retailers and office buildings there, as you can see. It is the financial district entirety of the UK. 
along with City of London as well. This is the um, <clears throat> good part of the Canary Wharf, as you can see. Lots and lots of, um, of course, lots and lots of commercial buildings and the waters, body of waters, all nice greeny color, which is pleasing to the eye. And we are next to the One Park Drive, which is the one of the tallest buildings, right at the bottom, as you can see. That is a footbridge, guys, actually crossing over to the other side of South Dock. It is a metal footbridge which you walk on it and it does make lots and lots of step sounds as you walk. So, as you walk there, you can have a good rhythm and have a little fun crossing over. And that is the other side of the South Dock. And we shall go there right now without further ado. Adios. This is the foot, metal footbridge that crosses over to the other side of South Dock. Other side of the uh, docks, guys, crossing the footbridge. There's a little food market here with the um, on the um, vehicles selling snack and drinks. So we're next to a very, really, very really class restaurant, guys. I don't know what it's called. But I will find out and show you. So basically, guys, this is called a Hazard Cafe. And that's what it is. So more of the Hazard Cafe, guys, as you can see. It's a casual place. You can just walk in there and enjoy your stay. This is a hotel, it's called Goodman's Hotel, and it is the uh, restaurant at the uh, ground floor there. The exterior sitting with the uh, fancy looking umbrellas and lights. So basically because we are actually exploring the South Dock on the other side as we crossed over earlier, earlier on and this side is quite more of a nice looking pleasant environment than a touristic spot. So this is what it is. We're going to walk further up this uh, platform and see what's there and return basically. So let's go without further ado. Uh, this is more of a working section of Canary Wharf as you can see there's lots and lots of greenhouses being built and some vehicles parked up here as well I don't know how they get here there is a some way of getting here and yeah that's that so guys as you can see we've got a few um, um, yachts and boats that are actually mooring here with the um, one park drive building at the background and all this uh, beauty of Canary Wharf
So we're next to the highs of cafe again, guys. Coming back from the where the opening of the br um, road bridge was there, and this is the uh, beauty of the South Dock. So, guys, now as we are left here, South Dock, where the um, Belmouth Passage here is called the Belmouth Passage, is because a narrow stream of body of waters that connects here South Dock, North Dock, and the Middle Dock. And as you can see, you've got a nice, nice. Uh, Hogsmoor, eating, drinking. See, guys, as the Balboa Passage it narrows down more, as we're actually walking towards the North Dock here, and actually moving with the nice, nice ripples. As we've got a little breeze going on, and lots and lots of footbridges crossing over to the other side. So, as you can see on the other side, it looks looks so so interesting. Um, it is for actually for entertaining and for relaxing and eating places as well. And we're still at the Belmont Passage, guys. There's a lot, lot, and in the summer or in the weekends, this place is does have much more crowd. Usually, uh, Canary Wharf on the weekdays, there's hardly anybody about due to its um, working features because everybody's actually working in the buildings and there's nobody about except lunch hour and after work most likely so let's go back to your uh, North Dock and explore around there and we're gonna have a look at the um, cross rail roof garden which is not open today so we're gonna have a look at it from outside basically so without further ado let's go and see that you can see this um, huge looking structure there it looks more like a spaceship than rather than a um, facility for people to use so basically as you can see there it says pergola and um, just beyond those um, structures there's what you call um roof garden which you can go by it's shut today as I mentioned earlier on this uh, it is said on the uh, online 30th of January it is shut so that's what it is and we're gonna have a look at it from outside so basically it's got a cross rail as well at some point so you can go cross through inside and see what it is like so let's explore this thing. So we've got the Elizabeth, uh, the new built, newly built Elizabeth line there, guys, through this um, structure there. Uh, next to the um, North Dock, guys, and as you can see, there's lots of retailers um, going along this year. Uh, um, roof garden structure there, and which is called Pergola. And we shall go further in the corridor here to see more of the um, interesting spots. Let's go. Yeah, the water used to be higher, guys. Last time I visited, it used to be much higher. It's got lots and lots of weeds in it. I think it's um, intentionally put there. And on the right hand side, you see lots of shops and snack places and retailers. Retailers, guys on the pergola and we're actually pointing the camera to the opposite direction of this walkway guys so we are next to the um, cross rail roof garden it looks like it's normal, but when you look up from the distance, it looks like a spaceship, no doubt. Very, very futuristic. Basically, this is the roof garden, the stair that goes up to the roof garden of the um, cross rail roof garden structure there, which I say looks like a spaceship. But if it's open, it's good. But on the net, it says it's shut. But if it's open, it's great. So, the internet is sometimes misinformation. So, let's go on. This is a very, very interesting cross section going towards uh, Canada Place. So, we're gonna walk through this and I shall show you more clips in a while.
As I come from the escalators here, we're at, yeah, we're at the um, cross rail roof garden. And next to the roof, uh, next to the roof garden, and we've got a big easy there, just next to the escalators. And I'll show you the roof garden in a second. I think it is shut. So as you can see, all these uh, small um, little trees, uh, these are just before the actual entrance into the roof garden, guys. And as you can see, the uh, entrance there, it looks like it's shut because what I read on the internet was true. You can come up here, but you cannot actually go inside where the actual garden is. So let's have a look at those um, gates. So guys, as you can, there's a note here on the um, gate. It says uh, it's on a plan works, so it's got reason for shutting down. However, I shall show you just over the gates what it looks like. So this is, this is what we're going to see. So this is the roof garden, guys, right angle from the gates as you go in. There is a public place. So this is the um, roof garden on the um, cross rail structure, guys. It's called Pergola. Great. We're going down escalators, guys. Back to North Dock. So there is, guys, a cross section for Canada Square. As you can see, very, very fancy inside, as I showed you earlier on. And so, this is the end of our video. I'll see you in my next video. Rios. So, guys, we've just come to the end of this video, going around, exploring all the fascinating places of Canary Wharf. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and do subscribe, like, share, comment, and click the notification bell icon for my upcoming video. So, I'll see you in my next video. Rios. Peace. Yeah.